All right, here we have it. Travis Thompson taking on Emil Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the all black trunks. Thompson from Pottstown, PA, wearing the red, white, and black trunks. Veteran, as we alluded to, dropped two straight, nine out of 11. Suffered a technical knockout against Lonnie Jackson. However, this is what makes Travis Thompson unique. He turned around on June 27th, lost, and that was 15 days after a fight. So he fought on June 12th, then fought again on June 27th. He's a type of fighter that, hey, I got a guy. You want to fight? You want to get in the ring? Yeah, I'll do it. And and it doesn't matter who it is. Nope. He's also uh, an MMA fighter, by the way, with of some skill. So this kid, I mean, he could fight tonight. He'll probably be ready to fight again tomorrow. He, I'll tell you, he does look like he leaned down. He, he looks a lot tighter and toned, and you can see conditioning's not an issue. For Rodriguez last fought, as we noted in 2011, most notable fight was really his first pro bout against... Jesus Cruz, the little Barbara, and if you want to go even further, a lot of his fights in Panama, don't know how many rounds he really didn't specify. I've got to tell you, I'm waiting for uh, Travis to, to throw a right hand. He is doing what he said he was going to do. He's jabbing, he's boxing, and moving. Uh, he's moving forward. Nice right hand there by the body, but uh, Travis is primarily boxing. Midway through, round number one, scheduled for four. Lightweight action, Emil Rodriguez and Travis Thompson right here on GFL.TV and Comcast Sportsnet. Rich Canyon is alongside my broadcast partner, Ron Christian Ringside. Thompson, again, looking very, very sharp. Throw out that record of 4, 11, and 2, and 3 knockout, trying to press the issue a little bit against Emil Rodriguez. And Rodriguez, you alluded to, you can kind of see that rust, that layoff, because look at his feet work. His hands are consistently down, and he's very timid right now, Ron. He is very timid. But Travis... And Travis really wants the work. He wants to show that he can box. Normally, he'd be out here, you'd have already thrown 30 or 40 power punches at this point. He's not doing that tonight. He's trying to work on his skills. That's a slip. That's ruled a slip. And I give him credit for that. Feet got tangled up. Sean Clark will wipe down the gloves as they continue. Late stages. Round number one, Thompson against Rodriguez. Rodriguez goes downstairs, tries to come back upstairs. Thompson kind of cocks that left back, doesn't do damage. Let me make a prediction. Travis is not going to continue to box. He just got tagged with a left hook. He a couple more of those, and he's going to revert to the guy that he always is. Well, and you know, look, there's something to be said for that. You give him credit for wanting to box, but there are boxers that have had success in the ring for just dictating the fight and doing the little things, not the dirty things. You you get to that line, you don't cross it, a la a great in Bernard Hopkins. You try to take young guys out of their game, and he did that against Damon Allen early on months ago. And Allen, to his credit, his pro debut, stuck it out and won that bout. So good test here for Emil Rodriguez. But as you alluded to, Travis Thompson wants to win. He does want to win. He wants to win. He wants to improve. I'm going to still maintain. And he's so far stuck with his game plan. He's not doing a lot of uh, power punching. He's not just brawling, which is his inclination, is to go out there and brawl. Sure, and get he's, that one knockout. It's, and, you know, again, you mentioned with, if someone's got a mixed martial arts kickboxing background they have that mentality where they they want to brawl I mean it's innate that's something you just can't get rid of it's not going to go away overnight oh no and hey four rounds he can get some good work in to be quite honest with you as we take a look at and in into Travis Thompson's corner see what kind of instructions he's getting one round in the books All right, that's Marshall Kaufman talking to uh, Travis Kaufman in his corner Good job as always by King's Promotion putting on tonight's broadcast as well as their card ready to rumble Santander Arena in Reading, Pennsylvania. I will tell you this as we take a look at Travis Thompson. This place, it, it looks like it's sold out. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful crowd this evening and a great venue for boxing right here on GFL.TV and of course Comcast Sportsnet as we get set for round number two. Scheduled for four, lightweight bout. Travis Thompson and Emil Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the all black trunks. Thompson trying to take an extra breather on the stool in the black, white, and red trunks. And he snaps that left to get things started. And round number two comes back, three straight left jabs. Rodriguez misses wildly with a left. Thompson stalking the prey, not allowing Rodriguez to cut off the ring. And he's got him up against the ropes, Ron. Well, Tra uh, that's Travis's game right now, is that he's got to cut the ring off a little bit. Now, he just whistled another the right one. hand. Yep. And he's got to shed this guy, and he's doing a good job of that. Referee Hub warns, uh, warns Emilio, him for... Emilio Rodriguez. Emilio Rodriguez for holding. 
one, one thing too, when you when you are aggressive as Thompson is, and you will sporadically and sometimes, let's be honest, wildly throw punches. It, it, it's always dangerous because you don't know where they're going to land, but you also you're very susceptible for counters as well. Emilio uh, Emil Rodriguez has yet to really counter on a miss. I, I mean, it's been an ugly fight in this second round, to be honest. Well, he's forcing Travis to chase him, and uh, Travis is more than willing. Well, what he's trying to do is really take Travis Thompson out of his game plan, to be honest. He's trying to frustrate him, not really box. And ultimately, the antics are all well and good. You still have to have an assemblage of skill in the ring as Thompson tags Rodriguez with a right. If Rodriguez decides to exchange punches, he's in real trouble with uh, Travis Clark. He, he just cannot do that. Round number two scheduled for four. Thompson and Rodriguez in the center of the ring exchanging punches. Now that was a nice exchange of punches. That plays certainly into Travis Thompson's hands. Well, Rodriguez comes back with a left and a right. Glancing blow against Travis Thompson. Thompson chunks corners him now. Good left combination and right by Emil Rodriguez with these solid black trunks. Well, let's just see what Travis Kaufman does at this point. I'd like to see Kaufman working the body a little bit more. Well, you see when Rodriguez comes with that right and that left drops, Travis just cocks that right with a counter. He's going to connect. I mean, if you watch it a little bit, Rodriguez very not unorthodox, but careless with some of his right, with, with some of his crosses and some of his technique, leaving himself really susceptible to a counter. If Thompson sees that, his technique is not a thing of beauty. By the way, we're talking about Rodriguez. He's clearly, it's just not good technique that he uses. But he is moving fast around the ring. He is showing some speed with his hands. Um, so, so thus far, he survived. And by the way, it could be argued that he's winning some of these rounds. This is scheduled for four rounds, so you always want to be weary, especially if a tightly contested contest as we close in on two in the books. It's all about stealing around, and if one of these fighters can do it in round number three, sets things up to be very interesting.